Hi gang, today we're going to be continuing with graphing some real life functions. Remember yesterday we learned that a function is a relationship between two variables. It is the work we would do to the input to get the output. Alright, so another word problem that we're going to be working with. A t-shirt company charges a design fee of $18 for a pattern and then sells the shirt for $9 each. Write a function rule that models the cost, C of n, for any number of n t-shirts. So Similar to yesterday, we want to write our function, and we have that the cost is going to be C of n again. Let me change my color. So C of n, and we know that there's a design fee and a price per t-shirt, so it's going to be $9 for each t-shirt plus the $18. Complete the table using the function and graph it on the corresponding coordinate plane. So $18 is already on the table for C of n. If we don't order any t-shirts at, at all, we're still going to have to pay that $18. So zero t-shirts cost $18. Okay, so say that you went to this place and you asked for the design, you paid the $18, but then you decided you didn't want to go with that company, you lose the $18, even though you didn't order any t-shirts. So now each additional shirt is $9. So 18 plus 9 is going to be 27. For two t-shirts, it's another 9. That would be 36. For three t-shirts, it would be 9 more or 45. So now we want to set, figure out our graph. So again, I've set up the axes for you. Our price is going to be in multiples of 9. So I'm going to do 18 for every other box. So 18, 36 plus 18 more is going to be 54, plus 18 more is going to be 72, plus 18 more is going to be 90, plus 18 more, 108, plus 18 more, 126, plus 18 more, 144. Okay, that's our price. And then our number of t-shirts, whoops, go back is just by one, so we could do one for each box or two every other. Okay, and now we can start to graph our information. So zero t-shirts, as we explained before, it's going to cost us $18. One t-shirt, 27. Two t-shirts, 36. Three t-shirts, 48. Or not, sorry, 45. Four t-shirts, 54, and it would keep on going up by 9 each time. So we can see a pattern going on, and you can continue that pattern to make your linear function relationship. So hopefully you're seeing that for every t-shirt, we're increasing by $9, starting at the 18. So hopefully you see that this is similar to what we did yesterday. The only difference here is that it's not crossing the origin. So we still have a linear function, but it's no longer proportional. All right, so let's use this function to answer some questions. We have if n equals 12, find c of n. So again, my equation was c of n equals 9n plus 12, plus 18, not plus 12. So I want to figure out how much it would cost for a dozen t-shirts. So that's c of n equals 9 times 12 plus 18. So it would be 9 times 12, which is 108 plus 18, which is $126 for 12 t-shirts. And then if C of n is 234, find n. So now I'm going to take the 234 and substitute it for C of n. So 234 equals 9n plus 18. Subtract the 18. So 9n equals 216. Divide by 9. And n equals 9 into 21 is twice, so that's 18, with 3 left over, 9 into 36 is 4. So if I spent $234, I bought 24 shirts. Okay, so I modeled one scenario for you. You are now going to go and try the next three problems with your partner or on your own. I'll be around to help you guys out.